In this video, we'll be looking at how to create this open magazine kind of animation where you can add your images in different pages of the book and animate it flipping open. You can have any number of pages you want for this kind of animation. So to do that, I will start by creating a new composition. I'll call this magazine. I'm using 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second at 5 seconds. I'll create a background for my composition, layer new solid. Choose a light shade of blue as my background. And then I'll lock this background layer. Then I'll create the individual pages. So I'll start by creating the front page. I'll create a new composition and call this front. Now your magazine size, if you have an existing image you want to add to the pages, you will use the dimension of that particular image. So for this, I'll be using 500 by 700 for my own. I'll add a background to it. Let me simply add a shape. So I'll use this as my front. I'll duplicate this composition and call it back. This is my front page. Let me add quickly add a simple design to it. just so you can tell the difference. I have the back here. So for the back, I will use So this is the back. Then I will duplicate the front and call it front inner. Now when you turn the page, the inside part of the front page so that is what i want to make this composition for so call this one front inner i'll edit it and then so this is the front inner I'll duplicate it and make this one the back inner. I'll duplicate the front again and call this page one. So this is our page one. So I'll change the color a bit. To make it easier to change the colors of the pages, I'll just add an adjustment layer and add hue and saturation so that I can easily change the color. So I'll be using this color for page one. So I'll duplicate this to have six pages. You can have as many number of pages as you want, depending on what you want to feed in the pages. So I'll duplicate this five times to have a total of six inner pages. So we've worked on all the pages from page one to page six, then the front and the back covers. So coming back to our magazine, I'll add the first page, which is the front page. I need to change the color of my background a bit. 
because he's interfering. I move the anchor point to the left and then drag it to the second part of the screen. So let me add a ruler as a guide and then I'll drag this to the left. So the front inner, I'll add the front inner here. I'll flip this front and I I did not flip it. Anything you add inside the page, it will be flipped. So I will come to layer transform and then I'll flip it horizontal and then I will align it to the right because it's now on the opposite side. I move it and then I'll bring it down. We create a null layer to control the animation. I'll call this leaf control one. And then I'll make all these layers to be 3D. And then I'll parent these two layers to the control. And then open up the rotation. I'll be animating it on the Y axis. So turn on the stopwatch, move forward a bit. Let's say two seconds. And then make it 180 degrees. So we have our first turn, but then the inner part is still showing the front part because at this moment they are still intersecting each other. So I'll open up the position of this inner part and move it just a little bit, 0 0.1, and then it will show at the back side. So this is our first animation. But then the book is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to bend as it's flipping. So to do that, we'll be using the cover shot tool. So I'll open up the geometry options. It's currently grayed out because we are using the classic 3D. So change your render settings to either advanced 3D or cinema 4D. I'll be using the advanced 3D for this so that this will become active. So I'll open the inner part as well geometry option so i'll select both front and the front inner and make the segment to be 10 turn on the stopwatch for the curvature at the beginning let's say we have negative 20 we come towards the middle let's have negative 65 and at the end we will have 20. looking at the animation now is better so this will be the base of all other animation i will change the color of all these layers and make it orange for example so that i can be able to differentiate all the different pages so the first part of the animation is done the second part i will duplicate this ctrl or command d and move it down and change the color so this front i'll have to change it to page one hold down alt to drag it over to be able to replace the content i'll do the same for the inner i'll put page two there the moment this animation starts i want to show the second part but you can see that they are animating at the same time so i'll adjust the keyframes so i'll select this then select the keyframe of the second animation and move it to start somewhere around here. So we have so we have this kind of animation. So that is our first animation. I will select this tray and duplicate and then change the color of the layers as well. I'll make it green. Now on this one, I don't want it to start at the beginning. So I'll review this keyframe and then move it to start at the first keyframe of this second one. So for page one, I'll replace it with page three. Then for page two, I'll replace it with page four. So when it animates, 
but you notice something happened here you see page one replaced page two so what we'll do to avoid that is the moment page one is covered which is the front page we will cut it off so we have this we will do the same for page one and two the moment is covered we will cut it off if not we will have this issue so the moment is covered you can no longer see it you can cut off the page so we can have this one so let's quickly add the remaining pages the remaining two pages So we have all our pages added. We have this as our animation. So this is how you can create this kind of animation. So depending on what you want to add in any of the pages, you can just simply come to any of the pages. Let's say we come to page one and we can just decide to add a graphics inside for example so when we come back when we animate we see the graphics on the page one and then with that you can do that for all the pages using this same technique you can create as many pages as you want to complete your animation then the final part is to add light you can now add light to your scene let's add a light or add a point light I'll make this a point light with 100% intensity and then I'll drag this to this point. I'll add another light because when this animates, this side will be dark. So I'll add another light. Let's add an ambient light. I'll make this one an ambient light. I'll make the intensity to be about 20% click ok it's still dark let me increase it to 75 cutting this is better so we can have your book animate so this is how you can create a magazine flipping animation I've linked another video on the screen which I think may be helpful to you. If this video is helpful, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.